first comment is, yay, our book is here. We have uh, been striving for the last several months to complete this, and uh, it arrived uh, a little bit after noon today when Adrian Del Cruz picked it up, Michael Clegg, and so since my comments were sort of designed to show it off, the fact that it's here now is going to meet my comments is going to make my comments um, much uh, shorter. Uh, the thought of having it short was because this is a very critical time for the Annis Energy Program. The book reflects what we've done over the, from the start for the first six years. And How does this work? Which one does this work? Uh, I'll use this. This one? Okay. Can you hear me all right? Yes. Okay. And uh, this is a very critical time for the energy program. This reflects what we've done. Close. Close. Okay. Uh, and, um, not only is this a time to sort of show you what we've done and show ourselves what we've done and all the people that we hope will read this and say they've done a great start and now um, with that start they can really do some very significant things in the future. Um, so um, what I'm going to do is keep my comments fairly short. I thought earlier that if they were very, very short we'd have more time for comments and put in that uh, may be a little bit shy here, but I hope I can get you so excited about what the energy program can do that you'll just buttonhole me all the time while I'm here and the other people who, who are involved here so that we'll have your input. Because as a result of what we've done so far, we're making our plans for the future. And if you know what is happening in the energy and climate change and the relationship, what Yanis does, what the Americas do in the future is extremely important uh, in so many, many ways. Uh, I'm gonna, my comments are going to be in sort of three areas. First, I'm going to let you know how we got where we got, what's happened, how did we get here. Then I'm going to give a very quick summary of just what is in the book, the chapters. And then I'm going to identify some of the things that I think uh, will be considered by us as we go forward. And the goal is to uh, get you as excited about where we're at, what we can do, and the, con and the, and the con contribution that Yanis can make in the energy area, not only in the countries and in the Americas, but widely as well. Uh, first, how did we get where we're at? The most significant thing that has been done in energy that has shaped this uh, was a report that was produced nine years ago by the Inner Academy panel on sustainable energy. And uh, that, uh, and I have spent much of my time reading energy reports, what have you, is one of the most significant book that could have come out on that topic in terms of its inclusiveness. Um, and um, one of the things that then um, produced that report were the scientists from uh, the whole world, uh, and they were led by two people from the Americas. Um, the the um, uh, Jose, excuse me, I've got a, I, I'm mostly a writer rather than a speaker, so you have to kind of go with me for a while. Uh, let's see, page one. Uh, I'll be there in just a minute. All right, that's fine. Right, right. Um, 
I'm sorry. I've okay. uh, got it. I'm right. Uh, <laughs> Stephen Chu, uh, who was uh, director of uh, internet of this, uh, the energy, uh, solar energy, national energy laboratory in. Uh, uh, was uh, one of the co-authors of the report, and Jose Goldenberg, uh, who you know as sort of the father of the uh, renew of the bioenergy program in the world, were the co-chairs of the report that produced was produced, and uh, uh, the people in the Americas thought, well, if two people from our Hemisphere have produced this global report, then we should be, take the lead in showing how it can be done. So uh, they d led the report, and uh, we thought then that we should do what it has recommended in the Yanis program. Uh, we, there was a meeting in Buenos Aires that looked at what would be the highest things to do. They identified the highest priorities to be accomplished. And then uh, six years ago, the energy program was started, and the book is a result of that activity. Um, and uh, the committee that has been producing that has been meeting once a year, exchanging information in terms of what we've done, what we've learned, what other countries have learned, and all of this information has been brought together in this, in this book. Uh, the important part about the chapters of the book, uh, I think, are, uh, I'll just mention them briefly. Uh, the first uh, chapter, one of the chapters in the book, uh, one of the first recommendation that came out of the Intercountry Panel program was energy for unserved populations. Uh, and. Uh, the recommend, they summarized it briefly in the IAC conclusion is meeting the basic energy needs of the poorest people on the planet is a moral and social imperative that can and must be pursued in concert with sustainable objectives. So this was nine years ago and the panel that was led uh, recognized at that time the importance of this work and this has become increasingly important so that now you have the United Nations and the World Bank uh, through their sustainable energy for all identifying as a priority. So the top scientists in the world recognized this nine years ago and now it's starting to get global importance. So that is uh, one of the chapters in the book. Uh, one of the meetings that we had uh, in getting this started uh, was in uh, Colombia and uh, it, we had, uh, because of the contact we talked about, were very good interaction with the Women for Science program of Yanis. And uh, the Women for Science were saying that this is something that uh, we would be interested in doing as well. Uh, so. Uh, we uh, had uh, asked if someone from the Women for Science could talk to us about the program that they were working for, and uh, they did this, and uh, that was really something that had a significant shift in what we were doing. Uh, and it, I remember it vividly because uh, it, the, the, many of the people who represented were sort of a little bit like an old boys network. Um, and uh, they were very smart included, but um, we asked, uh, and uh, uh, Patricia, um, boy, 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 Taboado Cerro was the person who, from uh, the Women for Science, made the presentation, and um, uh, it, uh, affected us, we recognized that uh, there was a concern that's important here that we hadn't recognized. I, one thing I remember particularly 
uh, was the results of uh, some survey of uh, what were the people who were in indigenous communities, what did you think were the most important things that could be done? And all the men in those communities indicated that electricity was the highest thing that they could get. And uh, the women said that uh, clean cooking and heating is the most important thing for us in order to protect our lives and the lives of our children. And that was so significant in terms of our plans for the program that we started working very closely with representatives from the Women, from the women for Science and uh, uh, Claudio. Uh, so um, the, uh, so, so, uh, so this, this was very significant and uh, Patricia's dad is here, I didn't see him. So, uh, yeah, hi, I wanted you to know that uh, you and your daughter had a significant influence in terms of changing the program so that it was much more inclusive and much more good. So thank you and thanks, Patricia. Um, so that is, uh, and, and that part is looking at uh, uh, one of the chapters on this, and it's significant not only because it includes um, cooking and <laughs> but it also <laughs> includes uh, water and the importance of water. The other topics that we had uh, were uh, energy efficiency from start to end use, renewable energy uh, and energy, renewable energy and bioenergy uh, and uh, the uh, uh, and, and the uh, capacity building, uh, and those were the topics, and those are covered in the book. So uh, I would just then, in the limited time, say, I would hope that uh, you will think about this, look at the book, and make your recommendations in terms of uh, what we should be doing, and we'll talk about this more when the Yanis people uh, get together uh, for the meeting on, sat on Saturday. Uh, the kinds of issues that I think should be considered are the uh, future of energy in the Americas. Uh, that includes such things as, as the Americas switch from uh, a, a commodity product to a, something that has more of a balanced industry uh, what will be the energy use implications of that uh, when we're looking at um, issues such as uh, the uh, climate change impact and the relationship between how energy is used and climate change, that you'll be able to see what those implications would be uh, when we are looking at uh, such things as uh, the organizations by which we're working, there will be more organizations that we can work with that will be effective. Um, that um, as we uh, look at the, com the governments that we're working, looking with, if we would look at uh, groups of countries that have common interests, uh, we would look at urban areas as a, as a component uh, the way that we can deal with other scientific organizations uh, that will also be interested in this activity. So, I uh, apologize for a rather awkward presentation. I'm more of a writer than a speaker, and I should have written my... <laughs> <laughs>